when I swapped uh, sergeant's duties with someone, I didn't expect I was going to be on a changeover, so I had to put a bit more thought into it than, than normal. But um, So we've got changeover. <laughs> so we know that 2001 is our centenary. What date in 1921 was the club established? Well, the website says the 7th of June, and we discussed that last week. Um, now, just had uh, members who've been uh, given awards for over 40 years. Well, I've been there for nearly 40 years. And I won't ask those um, who've been members uh, longer than me, which is probably in the high 30s to stand, but if you could please pay, that would be welcome the contribution. <laughs> but um, what about those members who've been here less than one year? Could you please stand so that we could acknowledge you and uh, we all know who you are. So welcome these people and if you've got one of these at your table, could you please pay? Right. How many honorary members do we have? Did I hear four? Did I hear seven? It's actually four. These are the four. The Mayor, local MP, uh, the Archbishop and the Bishop. No, we've got two more. We've given out two on the last year. Well, I'm sorry, Anand. Um, that's not on the website yet, so um, <laughs> I, I did. Robert Fisher. That's right, and Robert. I did pick up the two have recently left the building, and that was Sir John Key and Sir Jerry Mataparai. But um, we could probably understand Sir John Key leaving us, but Jerry, I think, was a well-respected member when he was here. Now. Who was the first president of our club in 1921? Alex Roberts. Thank you very much. And who did he work for? Murray Roberts. Murray Roberts. Good, there. Aren't we doing well? <laughs> that's the name that's disappeared from New Zealand. So, um, our new president, Marion. And um, I'll just ask you all to contribute for this because 10 years ago, Marion was the president of the Rotary Club of London. And she was the 98th president of the Rotary Club of Wellington. And if we're now coming into our 98th year, then um, Marion will be the 98th president of our club. So I think that's uh, worth a contribution from you all. And sorry for the ladies who are in the club, but um, how many father and son presidents have we had? I heard Islet. No. Norwood. Sir John and Jack Islet and Sir Charles and Walter. Now, we know the founder of Rotary was Paul Harris. Was he the first Rotary Club president? No, he was the third in 1907. It's interesting, uh, if you can believe what Wikipedia says um, on uh, Paul Harris, um, he had an interesting life. Um, did you know that he was expelled from school and from university? <laughs> it, it's interesting, the reason it's given for him being expelled from university was that it was something to do with a secret society. So hopefully Rotary's not considered to be a secret society. <laughs> He eventually graduated in 1891 from the University of Iowa, and you know that he was eventually a lawyer. But did you know that he was a professional actor and a cowboy? And this is between the time that he um, got kicked out of one university and managed to survive the next one. Um, he then uh, married Jean Thompson, who was a Scotswoman in 1910. 
and um, it's a bit confusing as to whether they met at a local naturist club <laughs> or a nature club. So you can tuck that all away in terms of uh, now you know a little bit more about Paul Harris. What was the first Rotary Public Service project? Well, it was the construction of public toilets in Chicago in 1910. So. Any, any thoughts as to how many Paul Harris fellowships the club's awarded? Well, my count, including those that were dished out on, given out on Wednesday night, dished out, handed out to worthy people, my count's 140. How many non-club members have received Paul Harris fellowships? I think it's, I mean, is there? Well, it's not on the website, so. Okay. So Emily used to play the music when we had music awards. Werner and Dennis Adam, you know, have been philanthropists to the country, to the city, and we have the Adam Gallery up the hill. Catherine Hannon was the um, congregational leader of the Sisters of Compassion. Rodney, we all know, has helped us with our uh, music night and is an opera singer. <coughs> Rebecca, we know, does a sterling job for us. Uh, Nikki, we right now, runs the um, training program at the university. And Pamela Whittington was... Um, the um, leader of the downtown community ministry. And France was um, someone who was a member of this club and I think probably became, it was uh, given his award for the fact of the, the work that he's done together with his club and our club in um, overseas territories. So, What are the levels of Paul Harris fellowships? You've heard some today. So, and hopefully I updated it right, but uh, those are the Sapphire members, and those are the Ruby members, and then there's the District Governor Award that was given to Anand. So if you've learned something today, um, perhaps you could contribute to the funds, and uh, thank you very much.